hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today's video is about how i keep sydney's four seed natural hair moisturized and healthy while it's in box braids or any protective style so the products here that you see these are the products that i'm going to be using in this video one is a water bottle and of course water is filled inside of it then there's a leave-in conditioner then i have the olive oil growth therapy and i also have a hair repair by ors and it has all the vital oils for your scalp so stay tuned so you can see how i use these First off, I want to show you guys how Sydney's hair is doing. Every day I do have her use a water bottle to um, put spray water in her hair. So her hair has been in these braids for about a month. You can see a little new growth. You can see that they are looking, you know, how they should look a month in. Um, I love when braids look like this. I don't like when they're um, in the tight. At the beginning stages, I like it braids when they're a month in so i'm taking the water bottle and i'm just saturating her hair like crazy i'm just going to spread the water bottle all over and making sure i go from the base of her hair to um down the shaft or down the braid making sure that all all of her hair gets some of that mist of the water and i'm just going to do this until i feel comfortable and what i say is about using water on your hair every day and make sure your hair your hair needs water sydney's hair absorbs this water that's why i'm like use it every day and if it rains i'm like girl you don't need an umbrella let that hair get some water <laughs> just like a plant but yeah um make sure when you your hair is in braids you use water every day on your hair Next, I'm going to use the Aunt Jackie's Quench. It is a uh, moisture intense leave-in conditioner because your hair needs moisture when it's in protective styles. The whole point of a protective style is to protect your hair so you won't have any breakage or um, you just lose hair. You don't want that. You want your hair to grow while it's in a protective style. And if you do these, if you use these products or anything like this, like a leave-in, you don't need, um, you don't need a leave-in because I use water, but I like to use a leave-in conditioner when my hour hair is braided. So I'm just going to make sure I section her hair just to get each product in there really well. And I'm going to go ahead and really work it into her hair. And then this was really soothing for her. She was like, Mom, I love this. You know, I'm like, okay. And it only took about five minutes for us to do it. Maybe 10 minutes at the most. But yeah, go ahead and watch. Now here I'm going to be using the Palmer's Olive Oil Formula Growth Therapy. 
I'm going to use this because, of course, it says grow therapy. So it's going to have all the oils that you need to um, keep your hair healthy. And that promotes growth. But here I have a um, suggestion. You can use the melanin twist elongating styling cream i believe that's it i'll have everything linked down below it's a suggestion if you want to do the lco the um, leave-in or um, liquid any type of liquid a cream based product and then an oil um i do put a cream based product in her hair throughout the week but here i'm just going to focus on growth and moisture so I made sure to use the olive oil growth therapy and I'm just going to massage it in her hair from base throughout the um, braid all the way down wherever you think your hair may stop because you don't need to use it on the areas that is not your hair that's the braiding hair you don't you need to waste product on that so wherever your hair starts and then wherever it ends you want to put it there and just make sure you take your time so you can get every braid and make sure every strand of hair gets the product. Now, after I've used that product, I'm going to use the ORS Hair Repair, the Coconut Oil, and B-A-O-B-A-B, -B, Baobab. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It sounds funny, but it has all the vital oils that you need. Anything, any oil you can think about it, it's inside that bottle. Also, another suggestion is if you um, are worried about your edges, while they're in a protective style or just you want to grow thicker hair or anything go ahead and grab a um, bottle of jamaican black castor oil and mix it with that though that vital oil from ors to make it kind of you know thin it out a bit and put that in your hair and that will help promote growth also and you want to massage your hair they say um, five minutes a day to s stimulate the scalp. Um, I don't do that every day, but I do when I get a chance. I take, I put a little oil on my fingertips and I just massage my hair or massage Sydney's hair. And that's about it, guys. Um, if you have any questions about what I'm doing or the products that I use, comment down below and i'll answer the questions i always try to comment or to get to everybody's comment if i can um so go ahead and i'll link all the products i use down below and now i'm going to finish up with putting a silk bonnet on her hair she always sleeps in a silk bonnet or a silk scarf anything silk or satin helps your hair it doesn't dry it out because that will defeat the purpose of doing all of this so always in with silk or satin sleeping but i thank you guys for watching please subscribe and thumbs up because youtube won't promote this video if you guys don't thumbs up but like it share and subscribe and i thank you guys for watching